Welcome everyone to the American Translators Association 61st Annual Conference. Thank you for being part of our first and hopefully last fully virtual ATA Annual Conference. As a conference organizer, I can definitely say that I don't hope to do this a second time. <laughs> Nobody has been left untouched by the COVID-19 pandemic and an economic crisis this year. I have noticed a significant drop in my translation work this year. Everybody sits in the same boat and it's kind of comforting to be able to um, share your experiences with people. When we made the decision to go ahead and go fully virtual, uh, everybody was all in. It's obviously not what anybody wanted. We all want to be together. Uh, I want to be walking around Back Bay in the evening in Boston. But given that we had no choice, we had to be virtual to protect our health. I suggest everybody to be a part of the Buddies Welcome Newbies. It's the opportunity of a nice breaker because you can introduce yourself, you can speak uh, in a small chat rooms, and it's your space to, to be there with some other people who are in the same situation like you. ATA 61. I had never thought it would come to the Orient Coast. I've been, I've been lobbying for that for years and now it's finally happened. I forgot to introduce you to my best friend. This is Ramona, not my name choice. This is the time where I would have coffee or whatever with um, some of you and instead I'm gonna be here. It's gonna make you super jealous because in a second I'm gonna show you where I'm at. Yeah, this is it. This is our beach and you can see it's super crowded. There's Chase and Ramona is right here. One of my favorite sessions is going to start. That's the brainstorm networking. It's cool. So people get together to talk about some business issues. And you know what I have today? Check this out. A little martini. Actually, it's not really a martini. It's just water in there. All right. Let's see what happens. Now I'm in Alicante. That's on the east coast. Oh, I've been I love Spain. And I studied a year at the La Complutense in Madrid. Oh, in Madrid. <laughs> nice. Very nice. I, I went to Vancouver once and I loved it so much. I loved it. <laughs> if the company is such jerks, you're better off without them in the long run. It's a tough call. Because for me, as a beginner translator, I'll be like, oh yeah, sorry, you were right. That's not a company you want to have a relationship with. We did our best to, um, you know, create events where people could come together and really enjoy that sense of community that we've all come to love and know. It's a beautiful day. So this is the beginning, I suppose, of my vlog for the conference. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. I mean, it's it's not the same you know, to have an online conference, but so far I'm really, I'm really liking it. I can pick what I want to see and I know that for the next, what is it, six months at least, I'm going to be able to see all the sessions. This one, who just loves, loves affection. <laughs> we just had the coffee with candidates. It was really fun and I think we talked about some important things and also just socialize, which so much of us need. And now my dog is on my lap. Come on, Stanley. He's a beautiful boy. Yes, you are. <laughs> I am teaching now for three hours this evening, and then tomorrow the sessions begin for me. So I'm set up really not ergonomically here. I'm sitting on my couch, so not exactly the best thing, and it's too low. And there's my regular workspace with my fabulous dog. And it's also kind of my clothing room. <laughs> Today is day one of ATA 61 for me. I'm very excited to get this started. This is my backyard here in San Diego, so I think there are worse places to stay. This is our garden play shed. So this is where I'm going to be spending most of the conference sessions and, you know, for the most part away from the dogs, although they might stop in every now and then. Even though I'm technically attending a conference, I am also technically still a mom and the kids do need to get home from school somehow. Luckily, it's um, all being recorded so I can listen to the recording later and catch up on anything that I may have missed. I am in the middle of making birthday breakfast for my 10 year old here. So when they announced that the conference was going to be virtual, I was actually kind of glad about it uh, because it does allow me to spend the day with her and have a nice birthday celebration for her. I decided to use my lunch break to go outside, take my dogs for a walk around the neighborhood, clear my mind and not get all nervous about the presentation I'm about to give. I've got my wonderful fake window background <laughs> behind me. We are ready to roll. Is there a certain way that they phrase their searches? 
all of these things are very important. So usually I would be out with friends trying to find a restaurant in Boston this year. Now I am walking around downtown Newcastle, going to see if I can find a place to order takeout. Wish me luck. And when I first found out the conference was going to be digital, I was very, very disappointed. But once I had my first social with the German language division, I was actually very excited. Now, I'm very glad that we did this. This looks promising. I'm not finding anything else except ice cream. I might end up eating ice cream for lunch. I'm going in. I got my ice cream. I gave a presentation at the conference, which came with its own technological challenges. Yay, you're here. People in the chat cannot see what? Okay, so don't do that. Yes, although I wasn't talking just now. Um, maybe you can try coming and going again? Coming in, yeah. The lineup was so good this year. I was really happy uh, that we had a lot more sessions this year that were related to the business side of what we do. Um, we had a lot of very specialized sessions. And this is a type of hearing loss that can be treated and in many cases it can be completely eliminated. This is a really neat session. It's a hands-on session. So we're going to be subtitling, learning how to use the software, really something that would be hard to do in person. Virtually it's even easier because I don't have to obviously go from room to room. It, I just changed now to the presentation by Joseph Maza at the Department of State. He's talking about diplomatic terms. That's what I'm looking at right now. So high caliber of presentations as always, that has not changed. A lot of what was on um, the schedule this year were, were events that people know and love. For example, the morning exercise and movement sessions. The arms down then to peel your spine down. Really stretch your spine away from your shoulders. So you're gonna do one more like that. Go ahead and press the arms into the ground. Babe. I am logging on to my very first ATA session. Zumba! Welcome to my living room. My plan is to do three songs, water breaks. <laughs> Well, it's hard to believe it, but the first full day of the conference is almost over. Uh, up next, I'll be going to the Stronger Together networking event. We have two more breakout rooms, including this next one. Uh, so take your time. Um, yes. And, and when, when the timer reaches zero for 15 minutes, um, just click leave and come back here with, with everybody else. Just sharing different ways to adapt has been really helpful. Just kind of supporting each other is really great too. I know, I had to put on my sunglasses because the sun's coming around now. It's like four in the afternoon here, so it's getting a little blinding. Very relaxed, um, but very interesting. A good way to get to know a lot of different people. My name is Meralis Perez, and I am a Spanish uh, interpreter, but I am also a linguist recruiting manager. The Stronger Together networking session this year um, was something that we felt was really needed after what's been kind of a rocky road this year for many of us. What I'm looking for um, is to expand my customer base, especially during the Zoom period. I just got out of the Stronger Together networking event and there's my cat. I've been loving all the cats. Despite of uh, for all of us being all over the world in different countries and all that, I know that we are together watching the conference. Great thank job. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, thank you. for hosting. Thank, thank you, everyone, for coming. I get really sad every single time I feel like, wait, is it over? Is it really, <laughs> is it really over? There's nothing like it. You know, there really is nothing like being at a at an ATA conference. So in honor of everyone that I would have had lunch with at the ATA conference in Boston, I am walking along the Delaware River and having maple walnut ice cream for lunch. I hope you are all having a great conference and hope to see you next year. I just finished a session and now would usually be coffee break at the conference. To give me the feeling that I'm moving to a different room, I'm going to move from the desk to the chair where I will be networking with my new co-worker, Lola. Hello, Lola. Hello. What language do you speak? Lolian. I've never heard of that one. 